Fauci Goo Yields got the Beginner's Gallic Chorus. Kimraha Huladunya, how is everyone? Looky there, you already know how to say welcome to and how is everyone. Alright, in the next 25 lessons um, of Fekimich Beck and Gallic, that's Let's Try a Little Gallic. Um, with a little work, you can gain a rudimentary understanding of the Scottish Gallic language. Now, these lessons were taken from my weekly podcast beginning back on May 15th of 2020. So if you'd like, you can listen to them or there as well. But please remember that I am not an authority on the Gallic language. I just love learning it. I struggle like most all learners. And so what I teach comes right from well-respected Gallic teachers. I hope you find it interesting, informative, and fun. And as always, I display on the screen what I'm discussing so you can follow along. All right, Kersh Maha, which means, all right then, let's get started. Beginner's Gallic lesson. And we're with lesson 21, getting close to the end here. And by now you should have rudimentary idea of how to put together a sentence whether whichever tense you decide to do it in so we're going to work on some vocabulary all right now uh, kuvna me uh, memory kuvnik remember a kuvnik remembering kuvnik me kuvnik me I remembered me. I did not remember. akam er mari. I remember Mary. Or literally, memory is at me on Mary. Hakuvni akam ora. I remember her. Hakuvni aka eka ora. He remembers her. Hakuvni akam er anku. I remember the dog. Jehovnik, uh, forget. Na, Jehovnik, don't forget. He of Jehovnik, me, I forgot. Mianach. Ooh, that's a good one. Mianach, yawning. Wow. Well, Ella, another. Dunya Ella, another man. Kus, too much or too many. Kus biak, too much food. Beckon, a wee bit or little. Beckon biak, a little food. Morning, a lot or much. Morning biak, much food. Goon, which without. Kun biak, without food. No, means or. Lar, book. Dream, a bite. Ach yansigug, learning. Jerak, just. Ach ichia, eating. Hook, kiss, and Cora, sheep. All right, some of those you've heard before, but I probably need them for the uh, sentences at the end. So we're going to give you a few examples of how to incorporate these into a sentence. Uh, we're going to begin with Ha imku akishia kusbiak. The dog is eating too much food. Va and cat akishia cherakrim. The cat was eating just a bite. Karo achon akiyansigik. The children were not learning. Avail and clown akiyansigik von and lar. The children are the children learning from the book. All right. So we're going to move on. This is the end. We're going to do the six sentences, give you a little bit of practice, looking these things up, figuring these things out. All right. Kuvnik er do vaher. Two. Na jiachuvnik misha marak. Three. 
Hier fühlt mich mir Hora weg auf Fokig. Vor? Kersen Ahau Amenek. Five? An Rou Ak Aheli Lesh and Dunya Ela. Vam six. Vami Akihia Kus Big Arar. All right. All right, so we're in lesson 22 of that 25 part Gallic lesson. And it's about somebody or something, some drinking stuff, and some sayings that go along with all that. All right, let's just dive right into the vocabulary then. Uh, we've got the Gallic and the English, of course. Uh, Kaylee, which is horse of the party. Sorry, which is dating. Sorsha, which is a type. Like uh, Jeshorsha Shishu Hakavanju. What type of weather do you have? Alright. Chanel Le Dunya Sambi. Not with anyone. Dunya Sambi. Anyone. Cat Sambi. Any cat. It's kind of how you say any of this or any of that. Alright. Chanel Misuri Le Dunya Sambi. I'm not dating anyone. That's a good phrase to keep in handy. Root, which means thing. Root sambi, anything. Rootigen. 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 All right. I don't know. I don't know when to roll my R's, and I won't know when not to. So, and if anybody's got that answer, let me know. Kudigen, somebody, eacher, at all. All right. Gav, take. A gavel, taking. Gav Moleshgal. Excuse me. It literally means take my excuse. Jain, which is make or do. A Jainiv, making or doing. Jehau a Jainiv. What are you doing? What are you making? Jok, drink. All right. Ha in Jok air. He is drunk. Or literally, it's the drink is on him. Ha in Jok air Rory. Hmm. Ha and Jock air Rory. Rory is drunk. The drink is on Rory. Gashalov Gashalig Gia Orst means bless you. That's what you would say for a sneeze. Gashalig Gia Orst. Or, um, na tolk me goose untult me. Don't lift me until I fall. Oh, wow. Okay, I guess that means you're really drunk. Nam be Ju Anjay. If only today was yesterday. Fakutikin er mohul. Someone was behind me. Kharo jock er ulum eacher. William was not drunk at all. Jeha dovain a janev. What is your wife doing? All right. I got you a few sentences here to translate, as always. And we'll begin with number one. J. Shorshed Chok, Ahau Agari. Two, Chanel Dunya Sambi, Adol Amok Anish. Three, Charo Le Dunya Sambi. Four, Avelu Suri Le Dunya Sambi. Five, Carson Nakel U Suri Le Kutikin. Six, Hami Agari Ayol. Jan Haley Le Hutigen. And we're in lesson 23, which is all about future tense of the verb to be. Now, so far you've seen the present and the past tense of the verb to be. And now we're going to introduce you to the future tense. As you can see, it adheres to the same four types of rules of statements and questions as present and past tenses do. All right, the first one is a positive statement, <clears throat> and we're going to run through the pronouns so you kind of get an idea of how to start off sentences with them. you got the Gallic and English, of course. you got be me, which is I will be, be you, you will be, be e, I'm sorry, be a, he will be, and be e, she will be, be shin, we will be, be shiv. You will be, plural. 
be it. They will be. All right. Now that's just the positive statements. But you can apply that to the other three, which is the negative statement and the positive and a negative question. And you got, of course, you got be me, I will be, which is the positive statement. Kavi me, I won't be, which is the negative statement. Um, be me, I will be, which is the positive question. And not be me, I won't, or won't I be, the negative question. <clears throat> We're going to run through a few examples so you kind of get an idea how they work in a sentence. And of course, we always give the Gaelic and the English. Um, we will be speaking at the meeting. You will not be going there. Will they be running to the shop? Nach be i ach iche kus vig. Won't she be eating too much food? All right. And each one of those was in a different one. All right. Questions in the future tense use a special form, though, of the future called the relative future. Now, you'll discover even more about the future tense as you advance in your Gallic language, but for now, just remember that you have to use a special form of the future tense with question words. Now, as you'll see on the English side of this first one, Covius, uh, who will be, there's a space, be, space. Now, if it's something like in your, on a person's name, you know, you're, you're identifying it's the definite article, um, say like, uh, let's see, Kov we'll go down here, we use Koviet. Koviet, Avias, how many, um, you know, just, will there be, it's that you don't have to put anything in there, but if you want to put like, um, how many grandchildren will be, will there be, um, Koviet, um, Ula, Avias, okay. That means how many grandchildren will there will be, okay. <clears throat> so you'll you'll see that as we use them in the sentences later on. Let's just run through these real quick. We got Covius, who will be. J Avias, what will be. Cunavius, when will be. Carson Avias, why will be. Kimmer Avias. How will be? Coviet avias, how many will be? And the catcha, of course, always has to be different. Catch and be. Where will be? All right. Like I said, we've got a few examples here so you can see how that works in the sentence. you got the Gallic and the English. Covius a shisiv, phone a skehin show. And who will be standing under this mirror? Kacha MB Ambu Ur. Where will the new store be? Koviet Ua Avias Eravus. How many grandchildren will be on the bus? And B Ambu Ur Ansavala. The new shop will be in the town. All right. Hope that introduces you a little bit to the future tense, and hope it didn't confuse you too much. I've got a few sentences here, six as always. You can run through these and use them to, as a little bit of to test your knowledge. So, translate these into English. You got number one, Kavi, Vimi Akeri Anlar. Two, Biu Adol Yanvanka. Three, Javias u ajenev lesh and kora suit. Um, number four, ambi and tokras ors. Five, kabi, hami ak ihe ak tri urin. And six, kacha ambi usa ak koik urin.
In lesson 24 of the 25 part Gallic lesson, we're almost done. And this time it's about the weather and teach you the weather. Now in Scotland, the most common discussion is the weather. What it's like, was like, or will be like. There are certainly more types of weather to discuss in Scotland than anywhere else. And you will soon find yourself in the midst of one when you speak Gaelic. Or even try to speak Gaelic. Alright, but we need some vocabulary. So we're going to just start with some vocabulary. Um, of course, we've got the Gaelic, the Gaelic and the English. And starting off with Gurdian, which is sun. Gurdianach, sunny. Duver, shade. Skoha, clouds. Skohen, clouds. Skohak, cloudy. And Tushka, rain. Fluke, wet. Chillum, dry. Schnuck, snow. Kavik, sleet. Rahat, frost. J, ice. Lea, re. La, 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 la. <laughs> Lea, rahat. Hoarfrost. Now, I don't know what the difference is between frost and hoarfrost, but there you go. Goch, wind. Gochen, winds. Gochak, windy. Jelenok, lightning. Chirnanok, thunder. Fras, shower. Flashen, showers. Frosik, showery. Storm, storm. Storming, storms or stormil, stormy. Chul, flood. Chordig. Chordig is odd. It means the dry times between the showers. <laughs> uh, Gainvik. Sand. Storm. Yainvik. Sandstorm. Fossic. Desert. All right. Give you a few examples here. Example sentences. Jay Shorsha, Shicha, Aha, and Ju. What kind of weather is it today? Jay Shorsha, La, and Aha, An, and Ju. What kind of day is it today? And Ha, and Tushka, An, and Ju. It's raining today. Literally, there is rain in it today. All right. We'll move on to a couple quick little examples here. Hai fluke, it's wet. Hai schnuck on, there's snow. Hai stormio, it's stormy. Or hai bria, it's beautiful. All right, and you can't talk about the weather without knowing the seasons. So we got Ancherak, spring, or actually the spring. Ansen Erak, in the spring. An Saurag, summer, yeah, the summer. An in the summer. Um, for the autumn. An for in the autumn. An Gemrug, winter. An Sigirug, in the winter. All right. Got a few examples here. Ha i ro, hey, an Sarag. It is too hot in the summer. B e cho fluke on sinelik. It will be so wet in the spring. Am be a a falav on some hoger. Will he be leaving in the fall? Alrighty. Now we got those six Gallic sentences for you to translate for a little practice, and we'll start with number one. Number one. Avail in La, Fluke, Anju. Two. Chaniel a Tushka an, Anju Icher. Three. Ha i gle he agas le more than Grian Anju. Four. Avail uski yan chicha ast. Five. Fa schnak agas rohat aka fad an la. Six. Be storm, Dorka, a chin anok. Teachers, so I hope you find it interesting, informative, and fun. I always display on the screen what I am discussing so you can follow along. 
Today we're going to be in that last part of the 25-part Gallic uh, Beginner's Gallic course that you can download right off of uh, Yield Scott Culture Culture Facebook group. All right, and that that uh, of course that lesson is all about expressing likes and dis dislikes. Now, we will express our likes and dislikes today in the present time. The other tenses will be explained in more advanced studies. Um, we will use the prepositional pronoun lay, which is with, to express our like or our dislike. Just so you know, uh, just so you don't have to look the, the back lesson 20, I'll remind you of the prepositional pronoun here of lay. And of course we got the Gallic and the English. And you've got lem, which is with me, let, with you, less, with him or it, leha, with her or it, lane, with us, live, with you, plural, and loha, with them. Now, just like with the others, you will have a positive and negative statements and questions. You have the Gallic and you have the English. You have um, entolet ushkaveha. Do you like whiskey? Chatolem fien gyal. I don't like white wine. Is tola ala? I'm sorry. Is tolecha misha? She likes me. Chatolem isha. I don't like her. Um, translate these six sentences into English. Uh, starting with number one. Anto leha cake. Katole shamus. I'm sorry. Number two. Katole shamus is tolom ian. Number three. Naktol liet ian. Four. Carson is tol lesh isha. Five. Anto lesh hoin. And six. Kato liam it ersen goro it ak iche mo heik. All right, that's the end of the lesson. That's the end of the beginner's Gallic course. Kind of a short one today, but I wanted to leave room to give you a little bit of advice. Now, if you feel confident, move on to higher levels of learning. If you do not review, um, if you do not review what areas you, that you need help in, and only move on when you feel comfortable. Now, this introduction to Scottish Gaelic it was designed only to give you the rudimentary understanding of the language and a beginner's ability to converse, you know, simply in the language. I hope you love learning as much as I do, and I hope that you would search out Gaelic to listen to, even if it's more complex than you've already learned. You'll notice that you'll pick up on bits and pieces here and there. A good way to progress is to purchase some children's books and easy literature. Another way is to listen to things like my Learn the Gaelic Song CDs and my weekly podcast just to get the language worked into your life. Um, plus, there's plenty of other help on the Internet that will help you advance in your language learning. Some um, are like Learn Gaelic with Jason Bond. He's really good. Uh, LearnGaelic.com, Duolingo.com, and there's plenty more. Um, those are the what I think are the top three. Now, thank you for using my introduction to Scottish Gaelic lessons. And if you uh, go to Yield Scott Facebook group, remember you can download it or view the course. Um, there are 20 extra sentences at the very end that you can translate just for fun. All right, keep up the great work and look forward to those next lessons. And Martian leave in Drasda, goodbye for now.